Here we have a vintage Shuko boat, number 5550. Now, I know this is going to be confusing, but Shuko made multiple Shuko Nautico number 5550 boats. For example, some, and I do have them, have a compass in the front. Some have a rotating radar dish. This has neither. This is your entry level Shuko 5550. Okay, with that said, let's take a look at the boat. As you can see, it's in beautiful shape. It's mostly plastic. It's got a little tin. The uh, deck is tin. The hull is plastic. All this is tin. And you can see the hull's in beautiful shape. This is a really good example. If I'm not mistaken, it's made in the U.S. zone of Germany. Um, no, this was made in Western Germany. I don't know if you can see it on the runner. Some say U.S. zone Germany. This particular one is Western Germany. So this is your basic 5550, but it's a newer one made in Western Germany. Okay, this is a battery-operated boat. It is their electro version. It's the Nordica, as I mentioned. To access the battery compartment, these two floodlights in the front, you simply pivot them. And now you lift up the cabin. And there's a little tab in the back here that tucks in and locks in. You see it come out. That's what holds it in. So here, here is your inside. You can see it's, it's a little dirty, but for what it is and how old it is, it's, it's a very clean boat. It's the original engine, original switch, original wiring. Um, and it takes three size C batteries, which are not included, and I am going to put them in now. You can see the direction of the battery, number one. And what happens often is these little pins break. And these little pins actually hold the batteries in place. So if you see one of these without these pins, you've been warned, the batteries will float and it will not run. So this, this has all the original pins still intact. Let's put the last battery in. I'm trying to do it so I don't break a pin. That's that's a that's a track. Oh, that's what's stuck a little bit. Okay, there it is. Okay, all the batteries are in, and you can see the inside of the cabin is a beautiful shape. It's all plastic, hundred percent plastic. But there's no repairs, no damage. Nothing done yet. The original captain driving it. He's in good shape. The windshield frame is metal. It's not in bad shape. Normally, they're very badly pitted. There was never any glass or plastic with it. So what we're going to do is simply put the cabin back on. And again, using that tailpiece as a guide, that's the first piece you put on is right there. And then it simply drops into place. Now you push a little pressure down and you lock it in. And there you go, you're actually ready to go. So, seeing how my pool is closed for the winter, I'm just simply going to pull the on switch. You pull it on, and we'll see the propeller turn. And here we go. And there you go. And the runner, here's the boat. You push it out, it gets tighter. And there you have it. You put it down. Put it down water. So we'll show you the good, good pop connection there. But there you have it, a vintage Medica 5550 boat from Shuko. And now it's off, and thank you for your time.